can you name this compound can you draw the structure of methanol try okay methanol it has meth so there has to be only one carbon it has an al so there has to be a cho group but as i said if it is an aldehyde the cho should come in the total counting of carbons the carbon of the cho so it has only one carbon and it has a cho group so obviously this carbon has to be this a part of the cho group so this carbon itself is the cho now this is meth only one carbon this cho we have only formed the group we have not added the chain now one carbon is exhausted so what should be added in this chain you can't add ch3 you can't add c2h5 because that would increase the carbons and methanol has only one carbon so you just add a hydrogen it's just h c h o simple now similarly in this ketone okay in ketones there is one special thing you have two arms so there could be a ch3 over here there could be c2h5 over here you know these ch3 c2h5 are the groups which attach to this functional group and make the total compound they are just i mean instead of hydrogen you instead of this ch4 you remove a hydrogen and make it ch3 c2h6 you make it c2h5 and a bond c3h7 you make this c3h so sorry c3h8 you make this c3h7 in a bond so you can just attach these to the functional group if you want so i attach to ch3 over here and a c2h5 over here so now what will be the name of this compound 1 2 3 and you have to count this carbon as well so total four carbons so it's but butane but there is a co group so co there is a suffix in case of a suffix delete the e and add this so this becomes butan on you see if this is h then it automatically becomes an aldehyde in a ketone if one of the arms contains h then it no longer remains a ketone it becomes an aldehyde and if we have another h this aldehyde is called methanol so methanol is an aldehyde and aldehyde is a a special case of ketone you can say where the other hand other arm of the ketone of the co group contains hydrogen but they are different groups their properties are different they have some similar properties due to the co group but in general they are taken differently now similarly if we have this ch3 c o o h so two carbons ethane 
COOH group acid so it has a suffix delete this E and add the suffix so it's ethanoic acid and this is also called your acetic acid but acetic acid is not the IUPAC name this is the IUPAC name so when you are asked to write IUPAC names don't write this acetic acid it is wrong always write ethanoic acid and if you are asked to write the common name of this structure then write acetic acid because this ethanoic acid is not the common name acetic acid is the common name for CH3COOH okay so if I tell you to draw the structure of methanoic acid now what will you do see again it is meth so only one carbon draw that carbon first and it is an acid so this COOH group is present but it has only one carbon so again it's like the same case for aldehyde this carbon has to be the carbon of the COOH group so add the COOH it has one bond this group so what will you add over here you can't add CH3C2H5 because it will increase the carbon so add H so this HCOOH is the methanoic acid this methanoic acid is present in this ant sting when a, when an ant stings you it exerts it uh, gives out this methanoic acid HCOOH and since it is an acid that's why you feel the pain of the sting okay so this is the basic nomenclature 